What is up YouTube? My name is Eben and welcome back to Luminous Frost Deck Challenge Experiment Week 3. Uh, we are up for another round of changes. The deck went an impressive and I gotta say kind of mind-blowing five wins and five losses out of our 10 games. Uh, we played uh, Tapu Koko twice but we played pretty much everything else was a one-up deck. We played Primarina GX, we played Noivern GX, Galissapod Garbodor, Rhyperior Mill. I, I know, I was shocked too. Another Luminous Frost deck that someone was working on also, once again, I'm as shocked as you are. Uh, a Doblade deck, like a Doblade full swipe kind of thing. Uh, Metagross GX and Solgaleo GX. And keep in mind, we went five and five here. I mean, these decks you would think would step on us, but once again, kind of our tried and true method of using uh, Alolan Ninetales uh, ability to keep us completely safe from the effects of their attacks has really been paying off. Uh, so many decks just find that so hard to deal with. And Kingdra, Shining, putting in a lot of work this week. But we're going to go ahead and get to the cuts here. Uh, our first cut this week is a pretty obvious one, I think. Uh, Big Malasada, it heals what potion used to heal. So like regular potion literally does us more helping. And yeah, it removes a special condition, but there are way better ways to do it. This card was almost never uh, particularly useful. Um... It was just the next most obvious cut. We just didn't cut it week one because there were other things that needed it more. Um, Bufalant really has not put in much work either. Um, I mean, yeah, it can tie for the highest damage our deck can put out right now, but that's not saying much, and it sucks up a lot of energy to do it, and it doesn't do anything especially useful with its attack. So he's definitely getting the axe this week. Lana, I, honestly, I almost kept Lana because there are a number of things, like just so many energies that I kind of wanted to cut, but she just... Almost always, she's just a worse Pokemon Center lady um, because spread damage isn't really a thing. Yeah, she can heal multiple things, but like I say, spread damage isn't much of a thing, and you have to have a water energy on the thing you're healing. And she's just almost never really that useful, and I can pretty much always think of a better supporter I would want in that situation. So while once or twice I have kind of wanted her just for coincidence, because some decks can only damage us in very small increments because of uh, how Ninetales works, Still, it's just there are better ways to do that, and our deck really could stand to have a little bit more speed. Um, and also, our final two cuts are just a couple of basic energies. I'd like to say we're trimming the energies down this week, but strangely, we actually can't trim the energies down this week. Uh, kind of madness, I know. But uh, our additions, I just really, really wanted to add double colorless energy this week. Uh, we have so many Pokemon that can use these two colorless energy all you know to speed them up. Uh, Ninetales, Sandslash, Bruxish, Heatmore, all these Pokemon, almost everything pretty much except Kingdra, uh, can use these double colorless energies. So these are definitely in. I, I am just so desperate to find ways to get in the game of dealing damage faster. Because let me tell you, powering up three energy attack, three turns of basic energies is not that fun. <laughs> Yeah, it does open up a weakness to special energy removal, things like Drampa, but that really hasn't been a big issue, and Drampa's not that much of a threat when you get Ninetales, so. The other thing was, we still are kind of wanting specific Pokemon, especially Evolutions, and just nothing does that better than Ultra Ball, so we're adding a third Ultra Ball. We just need that kind of unlimited searching power. Uh, it's nice that it can get the basics when we need them, etc., but like I say, unlimited searching power, usually having cards in our hand to pay the discard is not something we're hurting for. Um... The next card we're going to add, I wanted another draw supporter um, to kind of help us set up. I mean, once we get an Alolan Sandslash, going drawing isn't a problem really anymore. And considering Alolan Sandslash, I'm actually going to try this supporter. I know what you might be thinking. There are other draw supporters that in your mind or even in my mind might be a little better. But I want to try Wick over the course of these next 10 games and see how she does. I think in this particular deck, she might actually be pretty useful because she draws equal to the cards in our hand. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm not going to ever be able to, you know, end my opponent to a super small number or anything, but because we usually have so many cards in our hand in this deck, because we, you know, stock up a lot of basic energy and extra Pokemon, we're usually just looking for that one specific card. And Wick is very good at turning large numbers of cards into specific cards. If I've got like eight cards in my hand and none of them are what I need, Let's say I can Slush Rush and it basically, you know, go up to nine, but that Slush Rush is like getting two cards with Wick. Uh, because I draw one, oh, it's not the one card I need, like let's say a Lola Nine Tails. So I Wick, shuffle it all into my deck, and not only do I get those eight cards that were doing nothing for me, but that one Slush Rush card becomes another card. So if you see what I'm saying, it's kind of like I get to draw double off of that. Um, but I feel like she just gets me specific cards I want. 
and offers me a lot of draw power in this specific deck. We'll see. I don't know. Will it work? Will it not work? Eh, it's hard to say, but we're going to give it a shot. And for more traditional draw power, uh, the final slot, I did decide to add one Sycamore. I know, I know. And why aren't you running three Sycamores already? Because we're trying to go for seeing what's going to work in the long run and kind of fleshing it out as we go. Um, a lot of times we have cards in our hand that are kind of static, but we don't necessarily want to burn them all to Sycamore. And drawing, like I say, isn't really a problem once we get Sand Slash up, so I'm not super eager to just chalk the deck full of Sycamores just yet. But hey, maybe maybe I'm just being overly cautious. So we're going to run the Sycamore anyway. And the idea is in these next 10 games we're going to play, uh, we're going to kind of see how each of these cards performs when we get it, what did we want, what did we not want, etc. So these are the add-ins. And so really quickly, we're going to kind of show you what the deck is looking like as of now. Now that we've minus these five cards. Like I said, we're going to go really quickly here. We've still got our two Alolan Ninetales with our Luminous Barrier and our three Alolan Vulpix, the non-beacon one. That's almost surely going to change at some point, but right now we got priorities. Two Alolan Sand Slash, he's been amazing support. I just, every game this thing comes out is a good game. Uh, Alolan Sand Slash, who his defense curl has definitely bailed us out a couple of times. Kingdra, this thing has also done uh, some considerable work for us, and I think at some point we're going to have to choose whether or not Kingdra is the way we're going with this deck, quote-unquote, or not. But for now, he's very much appreciated. Um, the two Cedras, I've used Cedras to make a couple of KOs here and there, um, and I'm also running two Horsies. I even picked up a KO, a game-winning KO with a Horsey with that Water Arrow. So, I mean, there you go, right? But um, I feel like 1-2-2 two, two is definitely not where I want that to be. But for now, you know, it's putting in some work. Maybe with that Ultra Ball, it'll work a little better. We still have our two Simipores, who I've been I've been loving Simipores. Simipores have been putting in the work. It's a nice early game mod to get some damage on the board. And, you know, you attach to it, and then it Aqua reflects the energy back onto your bench. So you're essentially powering up your bench while only risking the one energy on the Simipore. And I just love it. That thing is just so... I love that Pokemon. It's going to kill me when we uh, cut it, which we probably will have to. But anyway, two Panpores. Our one Bruxish, uh, who is definitely, I'm almost never sad to see that either. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty good. And our two Heatmores, which gosh darn it, we're going to try it with Double Colorless to see if we can get an Odor Sleuth off. And the one thing I'll say for Heatmore is his Searing Flame has actually put in some work because everything else in the deck is weak to either Metal or Grass, both of which are pretty much across the board all weak to Fire. So strangely, Heatmore has actually been pretty useful in those kind of games where it's like it's hard to get anything in because they so easily do so much damage. But then Heatmore comes in Searing Flames and does 140 damage essentially because it doubles up for weakness to 120 and then that guaranteed burn is 20 more, so that's 140. This thing has actually closed out a game for me. Uh, actually, a couple by now. So uh, <laughs> I definitely want to give this guy a little bit of a chance to kind of shine with the DCE, see if he's going to be able to put in that uh, that work that work for us, uh, you know, in a, in a little bit more uh, tightened up version of the deck or not, or if he's just going to need to get the cut. I'm afraid he's going to get that cut, but... You know, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. <laughs> we got three, our three ends. We've got our three hows. We've got two Professor Kukui. And our two new additions, we've got our Professor Sycamore and our Wick. So that means we're running uh, 10 supporters, if I can count. I can count. That's 10 supporters. And you'll notice that every single one of them right now says draw cards. So... Hopefully our setup is looking pretty uh, pretty hot right now. We've got our two old Ultra Balls we were running, and now we've got our third, so that's three Ultra Balls. Our two Nest Balls, these have been pretty gush and useful, I gotta say. I've been really happy to see these Nest Balls. Um, they're making me wonder if, you know, is that gonna be a Bridget Lele at some point, or honestly, if I can just keep the Nest Balls. Um, Timer Ball, which just, you know, Tails never fails. Um, <laughs> Rescue Stretcher has been very useful for like retrieving Nine Tails or like Seedra uh, and Kingdra. That's been pretty nice there. Energy Retrieval, another card I've strangely been pretty happy to see virtually every time I've seen it. Our Escape Rope, also a pretty useful card. It's like our only form of Guzmaing or, you know, quote unquote Lysandering right now. And our Wishful Baton, which gets uh, Field Blowered a lot, but, you know, on the rare occasion it's worked. It's been amazing, of course, but. Um, Field Blower is kind of making that kind of a question mark for me, but anyway. And we've got our two DCEs we're running now, which I'm very, uh, <laughs> very happy about. And then we've got our just absolutely a bazillion water energies here. Well, just kidding. It's 
It's uh, actually, I believe, uh, I can count once again, it is 13. And then we've got our three fire here. Um, even though we've only got uh, the two heat mores, which only need one fire each, um, this gives us a little more consistency because we can't technically like search it, so we still have to rely on hard drawing it. So we're still running 18 energies. This is very liable to change. This is going to probably be where we see some cuts in the near future, um, probably in the next episode. But you will have to stay tuned for that. Uh, for the next episode or the previous one, if you missed it, check out my channel. Just click on my name, my link below, and it will take you to the channel. You should be able to find everything you're looking for. And until next time, like, comment, subscribe, check me out, and I will see you next time.